now let us discuss about binary subtraction we can perform subtraction operation on two binary numbers in two approaches the first approach is using ones complement and twos complement the second approach is general or borrowing method in this video we are going to discuss about binary subtraction by using this approach in the next video we will discuss about how we can do the binary subtraction with the help of the general method or that can also be called as borrowing method okay so first let's see about how we can do the binary subtraction using the ones complement uh, let us take uh, one example 6 minus 2 so we have to subtract these two binary numbers uh, here 6 minus 2 is nothing but 6 plus minus 2 so subtraction means we will perform addition operation only but in order to represent the second number we may use either ones complement or twos complement so 6 minus 2 means 6 plus minus 2 now uh, initially we are discussing about the first complement so now we have to represent minus 2 in ones complement notation okay so how to represent 6 in binary notation let us use 4 bits 8421 notation 8421 notation so 6 in binary notation is 0 double 1 0 so you add 4 and 2 and remaining uh, positions are 0 next we have to represent minus 2 in ones complement minus 2 in ones complement so in order to represent minus 2 uh, in ones complement so first we have to represent plus 2 so how we can represent plus 2 plus 2 means 0 0 1 0 then minus 2 means uh, we know about uh, ones complement so we, we have to represent minus 2 in ones complement ones complement means zeros are converted to ones ones are converted to zeros so 0 0 1 0 means 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 so now simply we have to add 1 1 0 1 so 1 1 0 1 so 0 plus 1 means 1 1 1 plus 0 means 1 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1 after performing the addition operation if we get any carry then that carry will be added to the least significant bit here we have a carry what is the carry one is the carry so this carry will be added to least significant bit so now we have to add this one to the least significant bit so one plus one means zero with a carry one one plus one means zero with a carry one zero plus one means one next zero so zero one double zero so zero one double zero in decimal notation is 8421 so 1 so here the result is 4 so what is the result of 6 minus 2 4 only okay uh, now let us see another example let us see another example let us do 3 minus 5 3 minus 5 so 3 minus 5 means simply we have to add 3 and minus 5 so first we have to represent minus 5 in uh, uh, binary notation okay in uh, ones complement notation okay why because here the first approach is ones complement so how to represent phi in binary notation 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 next minus 5 so here we are using ones complement so uh, convert zeros into ones ones into zeros so 1 0 1 0 so next what is 3 in binary notation 0 0 1 1 next what is minus 5 in binary notation minus 5 in ones complement notation so 1 0 1 0 so simply perform the addition operation 1 g 1 plus 0 means 1 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1 0 plus 0 plus 1 means 1 0 plus 1 means 1 here we didn't get any carry if you don't get any carry then this is the result but the but the result is in ones complement form the result is in ones complement form so in order to get the two in order to get the corresponding decimal number simply we have to uh, we have to calculate one's complement of this number so 1101 in one's complement is 0010 0010 so what is 0010 in uh, uh, decimal number 8421 means 2 here the first bit is sign bit here the first bit is 1 so it specifies that it is a negative number so minus 2 what is the result of 3 minus 5 minus 2 
so this is the these are the two steps okay what is the first step here after performing the addition operation if the carry is 1 that means if we get any carry then that carry will be added to the least significant bit of the corresponding result and if we get any carry value that means if the carry is 1 then it specifies that the result is a positive number so 0 1 double 0 means it is a positive number so 4 is the result and the second step here is after performing the addition operation if we don't get any carry then it specifies that result is a negative number here after performing the addition operation we didn't get any carry so it is a negative number negative number so negative number means minus but the result is in ones complement form so in order to get the decimal number we need to calculate ones complement here so 0 0 1 0 so that is nothing but minus 2 okay now let us see the second approach by using with the same examples same examples Here, uh, here also we have two steps. The first step is after performing the addition operation, if we get any carry, then simply ignore the carry and the result is the positive number. So, simply we have to calculate the decimal number for that binary number. Okay. If we get any carry, then ignore the carry, result is a positive number. And what is the second step here? If we don't get any carry, if we don't get any carry, then the result is a negative number but the result is in two's complement form so in order to get the decimal number simply we have to calculate the two's complement okay so let us see the first example so minus 2 so we have to represent minus 2 in which notation minus 2 in two's complement notation now we are using the second approach so what is 2 in binary notation 0 0 1 0 and what is minus 2 here we have to represent minus 2 in 2's complement notation. 2's complement is equal to 1's complement plus 1. So what is the 1's complement? 1, 1, 0, 1. Next, in order to get the 2's complement, we have to add 1. So 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1. 0 plus 1 means 1. So 1, 1, triple 1, 0. So 6 minus 2 means 6 plus minus 2. What is 6 here? 0, double 1, 0. What is minus 2? What is minus 2? Triple 1, 0. So, 0 plus 0 means 0, 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1, triple 1 means 1, 1, 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1. Here we got a carry, here we are using the 2's complement notation. If we get any carry, then it specifies that it is a positive number and simply ignore the carry. So, now we have to ignore the carry, it is a positive number. What is the decimal notation here? 8, 4, 2, 1. So, 4. So, what is the result of 6 minus 2? 4. Okay. Now, let us see this example. So, first we have to represent minus 5. So, already we have calculated. What is the 1's complement? 1, 0, 1, 0. 2's complement means we have to add 1. We have to add 1. So, 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0. So, what is 3 in binary notation? 0, 0, 1, 1. What is minus 5 in 2's complement notation? 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1. Triple 1 means 1, 1. Triple 1 means sum is 1, carry is 1. Okay. Next, 0 plus 0, 0, 1 means 1. 0 plus 1 means 1. Here, we didn't get any carry. If we don't get any carry, then it specifies that it is a negative number. The result is a negative number. But the result is in 2's complement notation. So, in order to get the decimal number, so simply we have to calculate the 2's complement. So, triple one zero in one's complement is triple zero one. So, you add one, one plus one means zero with a carry one. So, one zero zero one zero. So, zero zero one zero means two. So, minus two. What is the result of three minus five? Minus two. Okay. So, here subtraction means we are uh, performing addition operation only, but by using with one's complement notation and two's complement notation. Okay. So, this is about how we can do the binary subtraction using one's complement and two's complement notation. In the next video, we will see the second approach that is using the borrowing method.